سلام مهدی نوری هستم و توی این ویدیو با هم میخوایم بریم سراغ قسمت اول از درس نهم کتاب امریکن هدوی سطح دوم تایم فور استوری میخوایم با هم دیگه توی این درس از داستان‌های مختلف صحبت کنیم This is a really interesting unit and we want to learn a new grammar here which is called past perfect Who are these characters from literature? Literature, adabiyat. Who are these characters? What do you know about these stories? Do you know any of them? The first one is Hamlet. Actually, this picture is a picture of a movie which was made by a person called Batman. Second one is Great Gatsby. Have you ever seen it or have you ever read it? Sherlock Holmes, which I'm sure you all know, and Alice in Wonderland. Aesop's Fables. Fable is a kind of story which teaches you something and its characters are usually animals and these animals talk. فیبل یه مدلی از داستان هستش که هم میخواد به شما یه چیزی رو یاد بده و همین که کاراکتراش معمولا حیوانا هستن و حیوانا صحبت میکنن. ایساب was a storyteller who lived in Greece around 600 BC. Look at the picture of one of his fables, the bear and the travelers. What can you see in the picture? I'm sure you all have heard about this story. Now read this story and tell us what's the moral of it. Moral is the lesson that the story wants to teach you. Moral یعنی نکته اخلاقی. این داستان رو بخونید و از بین این ستا گزینه نکته اخلاقیش رو انتخاب کنید. The moral of the story is choose your friends carefully. Now complete the questions and answers. حالا این سوالا رو بخونید و سوال و جوابا رو کامل کنید. Based on the story. One. Where were the travelers walking? Along a country road. Two. Why were they going to the city? Because they were looking for work. 3. What did they see in the woods? They saw a huge bear. Huge means very big, very, very big. 4. What did the man do? One hid in a tree and the other pretended to be dead. 5. What did the bear do? It bent down, sniffed, and then wandered away. Now let's check some new vocabulary here. Terrified. Terrified. Very scared. وقتی خیلی خیلی ترسیدین میگین I'm terrified. Bend down. In the text we have the past form bent down. یعنی خم شدن. Bend, bent, bent. Sniff. بو کردن پس فرم سنیفت ویسپر ویسپر یعنی چیزی رو تو گوش کسی زمزمه کردن Now, questions 1 to 5 are simple past and past continuous We studied them before Let's move on Now this time I want you to read this story again and whenever you see these three dots, complete it with one of the sentences here. These are the answers, but now I want you to listen to the whole story. Track 3 Two travelers were walking slowly along a country road. They were going to the city because they were looking for work. 
They were tired because they had walked 20 miles, and they were hungry because they hadn't eaten all day. Suddenly, in the woods in front of them, they saw a huge bear. The men were terrified. One of them ran away, climbed a tree, and hid. The other man fell to the ground and pretended to be dead. He had heard that bears don't like eating dead meat. The bear came toward him. It bent down, sniffed him, and whispered something in his ear. Then it wandered away. After the bear had gone, the other man came down from his tree and went to see how his friend was. He wanted to know what the bear had said to him. The bear gave me some advice, said his companion. He said, next time you go on a journey, travel with someone who won't leave you at the first sign of danger. The moral of the story is, choose your friends carefully. Now let's move on to our grammar. Now look at these three sentences here. What tenses are the verbs in bold? They were looking for work. This one is past continuous. گذشته استمراری was or were plus ing. داشتن دنبال کار میگشتن. Second one. They saw a bear. This is simple past. They saw. یه خرس دیدن. گذشته ساده. They had walked 20 miles. این اون تمرینیه که الان با هم دیگه حل کردیم. This is our new grammar. Past perfect. گذشته کامل. میخوایم با هم دیگه یادش بگیریم. اما قبل از اون. They didn't eat all day. They were hungry. How is this expressed in the story? این جمله توی داستان چجوری گفته شده؟ they were hungry because they hadn't eaten all day. گشنه بودن به خاطر اینکه تمام روز چیزی نخورده بودن. خب اول یه توضیح کلی بدم. Past perfect برای کاری هستش که توی گذشته قبل از یه کار دیگه ای انجام شده. اونا دیروز مثلا گرسنه‌شون بود چرا که قبلش hadn't eaten anything هیچی نخورده بودن. پس ما دو تا کار توی گذشته داریم که یکیش قبل اون یکی انجام شده. حالا اول بریم فرمش رو با هم دیگه یاد بگیریم من کامل تر براتون توضیح میدم. So the past perfect form is had plus the past participle. ساختارمون had به اضافه شکل سوم فعل هستش. This is the form had plus the past participle. You know that the past participle of regular verbs ends in ed. یعنی شکل سوم افعالی که حالت با قاعده دارن با ایدی تموم میشه مثل مثلا like liked liked هم شکل دوم هم شکل سوم arrive arrived arrived there are many common irregular verbs اما خیلی ها بی قاعدن مثل go went gone do did done که ما اینا رو سر present perfect با هم دیگه خونده بودیم اما برای past perfect هم لازمشون داریم affirmative and negative Affirmative is the positive form. I had arrived. Or for short, you can say I'd arrived. پس این هدو میتونید با آپاستروفتی شکل کوتاه کنید. این شکل مصبته. She'd arrived. They'd arrived. For negative form, we say hadn't. I hadn't arrived. Or you hadn't arrived. To make a question, you just need to switch the place of had and subject. Had I left already? Had she left already? And for short answers, we say yes, I had. No, I hadn't. Yes, they had. No, they hadn't. If you want to make a WH question, you put your WH word here. Now the U says, we use the past perfect to express a past action that happened before another action in the past. همیشه یادتون باشه که برای پس پرفکت ما دو تا اکشن داریم که توی گذشته اتفاق افتادن. اما این پس پرفکت قبل از اون یکی اکشن اتفاق افتاده. جمله رو ببینید. When I arrived at the theater, the play had already started. من که رسیدم به سالن نمایش، نمایش شروع شده بود. 
So I didn't see the first part. پس من بخش اولش رو ندیدم. این شروع شدن قبل از رسیدن من بوده. We use the simple past to express actions in the order they happened. ما از گذشته ساده چیزی که اینجا و چیزی که قبلا خیلی حتی تو کتاب قبلی با هم صحبت کردیم گذشته ساده استفاده میکنیم که بگیم اتفاقات یکی بعد از دیگری افتادن. Look at this one. The bear went. The man came down from the tree. خیرسه که رفت اون آقا از درخت اومد پایین. John left the party. I arrived. جان مهمونی رو ترک کرد بعدش من رسیدم They walked a long way They were tired اونها یه مسیر طولانی راه رفتن و خسته بودن میبینین action one action two اینا گذشته ساده است ما معمولا برای اینکه تعریف کنیم توی داستان ها چه اتفاق میفته مثلا میگین که دیروز من بیدار شدم I woke up صبحونه خوردم ate breakfast دوش گرفتم took a shower اینا همه گذشته ساده دنبال هم میان اما Notice how they are expressed using the past perfect. اگه بخواین همین اتفاقا رو با گذشته کامل بگید، باید جای اکشن اول و دوم رو برعکس کنین. The man came down from the tree after the bear had gone. یعنی بعد از اینکه خرس رفته بود، اون آقا از درخت اومد پایین. When I arrived at the party, John had left. من که رسیدم مهمونی، قبل از من جان رفته بود. They were tired because they'd walked a long way. اونا خسته بودن چون یه مسیر طولانی رو پیاده روی کرده بودن قبل از اینکه خسته بشن. قبل از رسیدن من جان رفته بود. قبل از اینکه اون آقا از درخت بیاد پایین خرس رفته بود. پس این میشه past perfect. If it is clear that one action was completed before It isn't necessary to use the past perfect. اگه واضحه که یک کاری قبل یک کار دیگه انجام شده بوده دیگه لازم نیست از گذشته کامل استفاده کنید. I cleaned up after everyone went home or I cleaned up after everyone had gone home. هر دوی معنی رو میده. بعد از اینکه همه رفته بودن من خونه رو جمع و جور کردم. Now ask and answer these questions about the story. And now listen and check your answers. Track 4 1. Why were the travelers tired? Because they had walked 20 miles. 2. Why were they hungry? Because they hadn't eaten all day. 3. Why did one of them pretend to be dead? Because he had heard that bears don't like eating dead meat. 4. When did the other man come down from the tree? After the bear had gone. 5. What did he want to know? He wanted to know what the bear had said to him. خب رسیدیم به پایان بخش اول از درس نهم توی این بخش با همدیگه یه گرامر کاملا جدید یاد گرفتیم توی ویدیو بعدی میریم سراغ تلفظ کردن این آپاستروفتی و گرامرهای گذشته یعنی نراتیو تنسز گذشته ساده گذشته استمراری و گذشته کامل رو حسابی با همدیگه بررسی میکنیم